Hi there, I'm Eitan and welcome to Wix Fixer. Uh, today I will be showing you how to get an unlimited amount of forms on your Wix website, uh, whether it's a free website or it's a paid website, and no matter what level of ascend you have, uh, you'll be able to build as many forms as you want, uh, including submitting them and share and saving the uh, information in a database. And if you want later on even to send uh, triggered emails based on the submission. Uh, so let's get started. So first of all, let's just cover the standard way of adding a form to a Wix website, which is using uh, the Wix forms app. Uh, and you do that by saying add an element. And then here you have contact and forms, and you can choose a different kind of form here, and uh, then you can add it to your page. Let's just show you an example. And, um, you know, now you can edit each of these fields and it's automatically connected to a database. So this is kind of the simple solution uh, if you don't want to get your hands too messy and if you still have forms available. Uh, the problem is that uh, these forms um, are limited. So you're limited to the amount of forms that you can place on your website. And you might also be limited to the amount of fields that you can add to your form, uh, depending on what um, plan you have with Wix, uh, which premium plan you have. So now I'm going to show you a way to uh, put in a little effort and kind of circumvent this limitation that Wix has placed and create unlimited forms, um, which can also be even more flexible uh, and dynamic than the forms that Wix adds, uh, Wix offers. So in order to build a form, uh, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to add uh, some of our own input elements. Uh, so if you go here on the side, uh, you'll be able to see here, uh, we have an option to add input elements. And we can select, let's say, a simple text input. Uh, and I'm going to show you just a few examples. Let's also select a drop down input. Uh, and that'll be enough for our form. Okay, a very, very simple form. And now I'm going to add a button that we will be using to submit our form. Uh, so again, I'm just using kind of the standard buttons here. Um, I'll change this to submit just so that it's a little more clear what it does. And here we have, uh, let's say, add your name and what's the best flavor. Okay, let's just keep those settings because there's nothing really important uh, that I need to collect information about. And it's just an example. Uh, now what we need to do is we need to uh, create a collection. And this collection is going to store the data that is submitted in our form. So here we have the content manager. And what we can do here is create a collection. And let's call this collection uh, flavors. Okay, we're, cre we're collecting the favorite flavors. Okay, so I've created this collection. And here I'm going to uh, add a field that's called name. The text field, and let's call this name. And I'm going to add another field and I'm going to call it flavor. Uh, so it's going to be a text field. And let's save that. Great. So now we have a collection. And this is where we're going to be storing the data from our uh, form. Okay. And I'm just going to publish the website now uh, just so that this collection will be live and we don't run into any issues. So I'm going to hit publish right over here. And I'm um, not going to edit the mobile site at the moment. And now what we want to do is we want to connect these uh, inputs and this submit button to our collection. So in order to do that, we are going to have to add a, a content element. And we are going to be adding a uh, data set. Okay, so let's add this data set. And now we're going to configure this data set to be connected to uh, flavors. Okay. And uh, this is going to be a write only data set because we're writing information from our form to the data set. And we're done. 
Now what we need to do is we need to connect these inputs to the data set. So we're going to connect this to the flavor data set and the value will connect to name. And now we're going to connect this to a flavor data set as well. And the value will be connected to flavor. And we're going to connect the submit button and the action will be submit. And that basically will submit our form. And then we have the option to add, let's say a success message. Uh, so your content has been submitted and you can actually edit this message as well. Um, let's say I'll say, thanks for sharing your flavor. Okay. To show you that it could be uh, customized. Um, and now our form is ready to go. So if I publish this, uh, let's take a look at our live site. So view site. Actually, I'm going to do this in preview mode just so that I don't have to switch between tabs. And here I'm going to add my name. So let's say Bob. And my favorite flavor will be vanilla. And I will submit. And thanks for sharing your flavor. Okay, and now if I go back to the editor and I go here to the content manager um, and I manage my content and I look at the flavors data set uh, collection, then you can see here that I saved Bob and Vanilla. Okay, so that is the basic way to set up a free form on Wix. And you can have as many of these kinds of setups as you want that are saving data straight to a collection. And you can collect user information like an email, um, you know, address, phone number, anything that you would collect using uh, a Wix form. You can collect using custom inputs. Uh, if you take a look here on the side as well, at the different kinds of inputs, so you can see we also have checks boxes. Um, you can also have date and time. You have upload buttons uh, and pretty much any kind of input that you can have on a regular uh, Wix form. So thanks for watching this video. I'm going to be making more videos um, about different Wix topics uh, and things that people might struggle with on their websites, including some more advanced topics that are related to forms, uh, like how to send a triggered email. Uh, some things will, will be no code like this video and some things will be uh, with coding. So if you uh, like this video, uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can see what uh, is coming up next. Thank you.